My name is Nori Lin and I'm a registered nurse. Today I want to talk to you about computed tomography or CT scan of the brain for a stroke. Uh, this is going to be very, very short. Okay, if you bring to the hospital a patient or a 911 is called and the patient is brought to the hospital right away, the first thing that the doctor will order if he is suspecting that the patient is probably having a uh, stroke is a CT scan of the brain. Uh, the reason for this is the doctor wants to know if the patient is having a ischemic stroke or a hemorrhagic or bleeding stroke. Um, if it's a ischemic stroke, which is actually 87% of all stroke, and um, hemorrhagic stroke is only 13% of all stroke, the, the treatment is completely different. If it's a ischemic stroke, the patient could probably get a TPA or a tissue plasminogen activator. This is a very, very potent or a very, very strong medication. It can actually restore the blood flow to the patient's brain or it can dissolve the blood clot in the brain because if the brain is deprived of oxygen and nutrients, it can die within minutes, within minutes. And it, of course, it can affect um, recovery. It can affect the function of um, the body of the patient, depending on which part of the brain was affected by the stroke. So hopefully um, the patient will be brought to the hospital who has the capability of doing a CT scan or a computed tomography of the brain so that the doctor um, will be able to uh, see what kind of stroke the patient is having and will be able to treat the patient right away. You only have three to four and a half hours from the time that the size of symptoms started um, to get the TPA. Um, some doctors though, or some neurologists can extend this to, I think, six hours. So it just depends on them if they want to extend the time frame. Usually it's three to four and a half hours wherein they can get um, the TPA. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and be safe. Bye.